In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. And your Dear friends, during this Mass, we'd like to pray for Father Bernard, Pala Grace, and Comtri, who celebrates their birthdays. We ask God's blessings and graces on them. We pray for the good health of C. George George and Sister Christine Minsong, Catherine Joseph, Father Goyle and Sachin Fernandez. These are people who are in the hospital. We remember and commend them to the Lord. We also pray for Binoy and Liji who are getting married today and also Helen and Dijo, they get married today. We Pray for God's blessings on them and that the Lord may keep them united and bless them. I'd like to also remember Sujit Abraham and Nina Matthew who celebrate their 19th wedding anniversary today. And we'd like to remember the father of one of our domestic staff, Dawood Kujur. He lost his father, John Kujur, this morning. We remember and pray and offer the Lord to the Lord, the family and the departed soul. And also one of our Salishan brothers, Jeffrey, who lost his father yesterday, Albanjius Maori. And we also remember Father Horilcius Marwe. Let's also remember all this and offer all other intentions that we have before the Lord. The first reading of today, St. Paul speaking to the Thessalonians, speak about work for the Lord, not being idle. I'm sure all of us work and we keep ourselves building God's kingdom wherever, however we do. Let's look into our life. No idleness, no laziness comes into us on work and on growing in God's kingdom. For the times we have ignored God's call, for the times we have ignored the promptings from within and maybe spend time in idleness and not listening and working on God's ways, we ask pardon. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask blessed Mary of a virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty Lord have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins, bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who caused the minds of the faithful to unite in a single purpose, grant your people to love what you command and to desire what you promise that amid the uncertainties of this world, our hearts may be fixed on that place where true joy is found. Grant this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we urge you, brother, to keep away from any of the brothers who refuse us to walk or to live. According to the tradition, we pass on to you. You know how you are supposed to imitate us. Now we were not ideal when we were with you nor did we ever have our meals at anyone's table without paying for them. Now we walk night and day, slaving and straining, so as not to be a burden on any of you. This was not because we had no right to be, but in order to make 
ourselves an example for you to follow. We give you a rule when we were with you, not to let anyone have any food if he refused to do any work. May the Lord of peace himself give you peace all the time and in every way. The Lord be with you all. From me, all this greeting in my own handwriting, which is marked of gen witness in every letter. This is my own writing. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your response. O blessed are those who fear the Lord. O blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. By the labor of your hands you shall eat. You will be happy and prosper. O blessed are those who fear the Lord. Indeed, thus shall be blessed the man who fear the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion all the days of your life. O blessed are those who fear the Lord. O blessed are those who fear the Lord. Gospel acclamation. not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Chapter 23, verses 27 to 32. Jesus said, Alas for you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites, you who are like whitewashed tombs that look handsome on the outside, but inside are full of dead men's bones and every kind of corruption. In the same way, you appear to people from the outside like good, honest men, but inside you are full of hypocrisy and lawlessness. Woe for you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites, you who build the sepulchres of the prophets and decorate their tombs of holy men, saying, We would never have joined in shedding the blood of the prophets had we lived in our father's day. So your own evidence tells against you, you are the sons of those who murdered the prophets. Very well then, finish off the work that your fathers began. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise we are again in the 23rd chapter of Matthew where we have the seven woes we will be hearing only two of yesterday and today you know once one of our catechism children asked me a question very interesting asked me father why do you people put white cassock why don't you put some other color, black, brown, won't get dirty? So the only passage that came to my mind was this. You know, white washed. I'm sure all of us, you know, a little bit of hypocrisy is there in all of us. You know, each of us will know how much is there. The, this is what Jesus will speak, especially in the previous chapters about the East of the Pharisees you know, what is called they did everything you know, to show to men to people so their prayer in public fasting too weak and they would appear fasting they would make it known to others that they're fasting and the decoration that they would have around when they do spiritual things was only to attract as the Lord would say the others attention and not for the Lord but hearts were very far away from if you look within to each of us, I'm sure we can, no? 
there are many masks that each of us need to remove in our life many and we miss that the the real core of our good being and if you ask ourselves why do i put on a mask or why do you i act a hypocrite occasionally i'm sure the answer is i don't like to be wounded i don't like to be vulnerable i want to hide many of my wounds in my life each of us look within that is a reality but i think we forget the lord who kisses every day my wounds and heals and before him we have to stand naked as we are and the lord will heal us and i'm sure when we stand before him all our masks fall we are as god made us and as he wants us that is an acceptance for conversion dear friends let's look into our life and see what would the lord tell of me when he looks at me today you no know, as looking at nathaniel the lord said here is someone without guile and that was a change for nathaniel you no know, proclamation and belief can the lord look into me and say here is someone who whom as i want and can be changed otherwise like the pharisees we will miss the opportunities of grace and god to come into us and make that conversion we ask the lord first awareness we know is the first healing when there is an awareness that takes us towards the journey of healing and we ask the lord lord make us aware of our woundedness our vulnerability in our life and that is where the lord is going to pour his blood of healing and i'm sure the healing will take place before the lord before the altar we surrender ourselves as we are wounded weak as we are and ask the lord lord transform us make us truly your child and that we may taste the realities of god's kingdom the sauce of god for this grace as he comes in his body and blood on the altar we surrender our life and ask the lord to touch to heal and heal our brokenness Let us pray, my dear friends, that this sacrifice of mine and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the grace and glory of His name, for our good and the Lord of Church. O Lord, who gained for yourself a people of adoption through one sacrifice offered once for all, bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your Church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father of mercies and faithful God. For you have given Jesus Christ, your Son, as our Lord and Redeemer. He always showed compassion for children and for the poor, for the sick and for sinners, and he became a neighbor to the oppressed and the afflicted. By word and deed, he announced to the world, that you are our father and that you care for all our, your sons and daughters 
and so with all the angels and saints we exalt and bless your name and sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim holy You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our world when we are gathered by his love and when as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, Jesus took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the death of the Lord until you come again. Therefore, Lord, remember us when you depart from us. Forgive us our sins, and save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross, to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church in which we show forth the Paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love we may be counted now and under the day of eternity among the members of your Son in whose body and blood we have communion. Bring your church, O Lord, to perfect faith and charity together with Francis our Pope, our bishops, priests, deacons, and the entire people you have made your own. Open our eyes to the needs of our brothers and sisters inspiring us, words and actions, to comfort those who labor and are burdened. Make us serve them truly, up to the example of Christ and at his command. And may your church stand as a living witness to truth and freedom, to peace and justice, that all people may be raised up to a new hope. Remember our brothers and sisters departed. We remember Mr. Albandius Maury, Father Orlisius Marway, John Kujur and all our near departed who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection. Give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, the Apostles, the Martyrs, Saint Anthony, Saint John Bosco and all the saints we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let's pray for the coming of God's kingdom in the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but in our hearts. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from all sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of a church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. And Let's offer each other God's peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away all our sins, our wounds, and the one who heals. Blessed are we who are called to receive him. Let's offer our lives to him as we receive him spiritually into us. Open our hearts to him, Lord. These are, these are my wounds. Lord, this is where I want you to touch, to heal, and make me aware, accept, and be healed by you. As we receive the Lord, we ask for this grace, and the Lord will work his wonder of healing in us.
What has passed our lips as food, O Lord, may we possess in purity of heart, that what has been given to us in time may be our healing for all eternity. Let us pray. Completed within us, O Lord, we pray the healing work of your loving mercy and graciously perfect and sustain us so that in all things we may please you through Christ our Lord. Blessed and praise be every moment. Let's offer ourselves to the Lord, lifted before us. Open that we are our hearts in humility. We ask the Lord, Lord, heal us. Lord, come to us. Heal our brokenness and protect us, keep us safe. We remember and pray, especially Father Bernard Pala, Kong Tree, who celebrated their birthday today. We pray for the good health of Sisters Catherine, Christine, Sijo George, Father Goyal, and Sachin Fernandez. We commit them to the Lord. We pray for Helen, Lijo, and Binoy and Liji who are getting married today. That the Lord may bless them. And we remember Sujit and Nina who celebrate their 19th wedding anniversary. And we commend them to the Lord and their family and their children. We pray for the departed souls of Albandius Mauri, or Father of Lysius Marway, and Father of our staff, John Kujur. May the Lord grant them all eternal rest. We turn to the Lord. Lord, open us. We are in our hearts. Lord, see our woundedness, see our brokenness, touch our wounds, heal them, and make us truly a child of yours. We turn to the Lord in mercy with this prayer trusting that the Lord touches, Lord sees, and He heals. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And let us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace. Full passion. 
Blessed and praised be every moment. Blessed and praised be every moment. Blessed and praised be every moment. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. We surrender ourselves broken as we are, wanting to be healed by the Lord with all our cares and fears. Most merciful and triumph God, we come to you in our weakness, we come to you in our fears, we come to you with trust, for you alone are worthy of our praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Seventh is a feast of Saint Monica. If the Catholic Church wants to celebrate Mother's Day, that's a proper day. No? A mother who prayed for her son till the Lord touched him. So tomorrow's Mass will be offered especially for mothers. So the Mass will be for that purpose. I'm sure some of us may have lost our near and dear ones, mothers, but the Mass will be specially prayed for all our mothers. God bless you, Master Sender. Let's go in God's peace. Thanks. Thanks be to God. 534, 534.